Hello there future ACCAs, this is Vishnu Vijay, a proud fan drama and I am here to show you how to book your ACCA exams online. We will be looking at two aspects here, one, how do you book a center based exam and two, how exactly can you book a remote exam as well. So let's get started shall we, so this particular process is kind of straightforward, so let's take a look. As you can see here we have the wonderful homepage of ACCA and the first thing that you would have to do is to sign into your my ACCA account. So let me just quickly type in my credentials over here and there you have it. So now what you have to do is you just have to go to the my qualifications section over here. And then the status of your exam would be shown in this particular area. So as you can see here, I have completed all my exams, but still, if you have to book an exam, you can just click on this particular link over here and that will take you to the exam planning window. So folks, now what you have to do is you just have to add the exam that you want to set for this particular session into your plan and then pay for the exam, as simple as that. And as you can see here, you have two options provided here. One is to add the exam and then you have the run system test as well, which is basically just to ensure that you have the right system requirements to set for a remote exam. That's basically it. So I'm just going to click on add an exam over here. And as you can see here, I have options to enter into the March 2020 exam session as well as the June 2022 sessions over here. And of course, it changes depending upon the exam session that you're sitting for. So folks, first of all, let's take a look at how to book a center-based exam, shall we? So I'm just going to select my preferred location over here. So I'm just going to select New Delhi for now. There we go. And confirm. As simple as that and then I have two options here either I can sit for the March 22 exam or I can just sit for the ex uh, June 2022 exam session as well so if you look at these two uh, tabs over here you can see that for the March session it says late and for June it says standard now what does this mean exactly so when it comes to booking your ACC exams, there are two time phases that you have to keep an eye out for here. There is the standard entry time phase as well as the late entry as well. So the standard entry is basically the time phase during which you are expected to book the exam. For example, let's say that I have to book my exam for the June session. The opportunity for me to book for that session will begin from the month of February till the end of April, isn't it? So this is basically the time during which you are expected to book the exam, as simple as that. However, if you are planning to book your exam in the month of May, then that would be the late entry time phase. Now, what exactly is the issue here? The issue is that there could be a risk of, you know, lack of availability of centers if you are uh, planning to attend for the uh, center based exam. Or there could also, there is also another fact that the uh, exam fees for the late entry is a bit more expensive than the standard entry. So it is always advised to go for the standard entry rather than the late entry. So keep an eye out for that. Now, moving on. So as you can see here, I'm standing on the month of February and it's a bit too late to, uh, you know, go for the March session, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one of the exam within the June session. So let's say that I'm planning to sit for the AFM exam. So let me just select that. So first of all, you will have to select the exam method here. If this was a knowledge level subject, then you will also have the option to select an on-demand exam. And since we don't have any paper-based exams, the only option is to select the CBE uh, session-based exam. Okay. Now, what you have to do is you just have to click on add to your plan here. As simple as that. And there you go. So this particular exam has been added to your exam plan. So now there are two things are pending here. One, since it's a center based exam, you will have to check for the availability. That's one thing. And then uh, you will have to pay for the exam as well. So let's take a look at the availability aspect, shall we? So let's take a look at as to whether we uh, have the center to write the exam. So just click on confirm availability over here. And then you will be taken to a window. 
where you will be shown the exam that you plan to attend. Just click on that. And then you will just have to accept these uh, terms and conditions. There we go. And now what you have to do is you would just have to write the location where you are based out of so that they can show you the nearest exam center. As simple as that. So just click the uh, appointment date as the exam date itself and just click on search. So now if I scroll down from this particular page, I can see all the centers which is nearby New Delhi. All I have to do is I just have to select the nearest one with my favorable time slot. As simple as that. So I'm just going to select this one over here. And this load I'm selecting is basically at 9 a.m. And after clicking on that particular link, just confirm all the dates once again. So this is basically the location that I've chosen. And this is the basically the time at 9 a.m. And it's on 10th June 2022. As simple as that. So moving on to the next aspect, just click on the next button. And scroll down to confirm all the details once again, just to be sure. And then click on confirm. And that is how you will confirm your availability. Now just click on this finish button right here. And then you would be taken to the main exam planning window yet again. And that just leaves us with the one final step, which is which is just to pay for your exam, as simple as that. So all you have to do is you just have to accept the terms and conditions over here and then click on proceed to payment. After clicking on proceed to payment, it's kind of a straightforward process. All you have to do is you just have to use your debit card or credit card information and then book your exam, as simple as that. It's just like how you purchase uh, something online, as simple as that. One thing that you have to keep in mind here is that you should ensure that the particular uh, card that you're using, the debit card or credit card that you're using, has international transactions enabled in it. Otherwise, the payment won't happen. That's basically something that you have to keep an eye out for. Mm, seems you're liking this video. If yes, then why don't you subscribe to our channel, Fintram Global, and press the bell icon. Also, do press the like. It really motivates us and share it with all your friends who would love to watch this. So now that we've learned how to book a center-based exam, now let's take a look at how to book a remote exam, shall we? So to all those folks who are just waiting to book their remote exams, let me show you how. It's kind of a straightforward process yet again. All you have to do is you just have to add another exam. So as you can see here, I've already booked a session based or a center based exam already. So I'm just going to add a new one. There we go. Add an exam. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on remote option right here. There we go. So these are the exams which I could write from uh, using remote proctoring. So I'm just going to select a subject here, which is ATX. I'm just going to choose a re variant real quick. I'm just going to select the UK variant for now. Set the version. And then I'll just add this exam to my plan. Now, since this is a remote proctoring exam, there would be some guidelines provided to you regarding exam regulations and various other things. You can just read through that for your information. And then uh, you just have to agree to the terms and conditions here. So what does it say here? Let's quickly read through that. Before entering for the remote exam, I confirm that I will check that the device I'll be using on the exam day will meet the minimum technical requirements. So what exactly is the minimum technical requirements? Let's take a look at that, shall we? So as you can see here, the minimum technical requirement is basically that you will have a Windows 10 operating system or a Mac OS 10.13 or above versions. And of course, there are some basic instructions to check the particular operating system version that you have as well. As simple as that. Well, that's basically uh, a basic computer skill that you need to have, isn't it? You, just, you can just right click on your uh, My PC option and then click on properties to identify as to what the system version is. As simple as that. Now, uh, I'm just going to move on with the other terms and conditions. I'm just going to check off this. 
So the next condition is that I will have to run the system test, which is basically the link that we looked upon earlier and make sure that the particular device that I'm using to write my exam is compatible, as simple as that. I can agree to the terms of using facial recognition softwares and I, I will have to accept the uh, exam regulations as well, as simple as that. So after this, I'm just going to click on agree and proceed. And finally, the taxation exam, the advanced taxation exam has been added to my plan. Now the next step would basically be to confirm availability yet again. Just to make sure that we have the appropriate invigilators monitoring our exam. And yes, I've already booked it for my AFM exam. So just click on ATX over here. And yet again, I have some terms and conditions, which are basically the terms and conditions that we looked upon earlier. I'm just going to agree to it. There we go. Okay, so I'm required to tick the boxes here. There we go. One, two, three, and four. There we go. That's basically all the boxes. Just click on agree. And then I'll have to fix the date on which I should write my exam, as simple as that. So I'm just going to click on the 7th, which is the date of the exam. And then I will just have to choose the time zone here. So since I'm based out of India, I'll just have to change this to IST perhaps, isn't it? ST, there we go. And now I have to choose between how the time should be displayed. Should it be displayed on a 12 hour basis or 24 hour basis? I'm just going to go with 12. There we go. And these are the sessions that are available to me. So I just have to choose a comfortable time from the sessions as simple as that. So I'm just going to click on 11 a.m. right here in the morning. And now we just have to make sure that the timing as well as all the dates are all as well as the exam is all correct. All the details are they correct just to confirm, uh, you know, before finalizing the booking as simple as that. If you are or if you do require to change the particular timing, then you can j just click on change appointment and, uh, and do that. So now I'm just going to click on the next button right here to move on to the next page. One final review of the booking over this page and then click on confirm. So there you have it. I have booked that particular exam to my plan. And then what I can do is I can just run the system test just to make sure that the system that I have is compatible with the exam software. Now, this is a, another straightforward process. If you just click on this particular link, you would be re redirected to another page, which, which, which would require you to run a particular software just to make sure that uh, the particular software is compatible with your system and there is no, uh, you know, crashing or, uh, you know, lag or delay or uh, any other obstructions that can, you know, cause problems in the exam, as simple as that. So I'm, I'm just going to move on with the booking uh aspect i'm just going to click on finish here and then i yet again move on to the final step that would be to pay for my exam isn't it as simple as that just so just take this particular box regarding the terms and conditions of payment and click on proceed to payment And now you just have to use your debit card or credit card information to book the particular exam. And that is how you book your center-based as well as uh, remote exams. 
I hope this particular session has provided you with a certain degree of confidence to book your exam on your own. And if you have any sort of questions in relation to this particular process, feel free to shoot those in the comment box and we will be happy to answer those as well. So that is basically all I wanted to cover in this particular session. Stay tuned for more videos. This is Vishnu Vijay signing off for now.